The Ministry of Education, Youth, Sports and Culture officially handed over the newly refurbished and expanded Grenada SDA Comprehensive School in Mount Rose St. Patrick recently. Annette Moore has the details in this report. The EC $8.3 million project is titled The Expansion and Refurbishment of the Grenada SDA Comprehensive School. It was funded by the Caribbean Development Bank and the Government of Grenada under Phase 1 of the Grenada Education Enhancement Project. Work began on the school on July 21, 2021. During the handing over ceremony, manager of the Grenada SDA Comprehensive School, Dr. Clinton Lewis, says the school is now healed. The rehabilitation and expansion of this school, the Grenada SDA Comprehensive, has been a dream and a burning desire of ours for many, many years. As we experienced the handing over of this facility today, we rejoice and we give thanks for this very unique experience. The Education Minister complimented the principal and staff for enduring the tough times with grace. We are happy uh, that the former administration saw it fit to embark on this project. Yes. And we are quite happy as an incoming government to, to see it come to fruition. The real value is in the quality of educational output that this results in. The Education Minister also thanked the contractor for the high quality of work produced. The engineer for the project was Dwayne Noel of Vicab Engineering Consultants Limited, and the contractor was Kenny Strucking and Equipment Services Limited. The improvements for the ground floor of Block A, the existing building, include a refurbished and repurposed home economics room, food and nutrition room, classroom, vice principal's office, and guidance counselor's office. The library, original staff room, and computer lab were refurbished but remained in their previous locations. Upstairs, the existing eight classrooms and timber stage were all refurbished, with the stage being demolished and rebuilt. The doors and windows were replaced, along with the handrails and the roof structure. In the new block, Block B, a two-story L-shaped reinforced concrete building was constructed facing the main road. At the ground floor level, there is one classroom, a textiles clothing and fashion room, a multi-purpose lab, and a building technology lab. On the first floor of the new block, there is an administration section with a staff room, principal's office and secretary's office, a technical drawing lab, and a multi-purpose lab. Each technical space includes a teacher's office and storeroom, with the multi-purpose lab being equipped with living material storage and a preparation room. Principal of the Grenada SDA Comprehensive School, Kim Linda Koto, says the school has gained significant lab space, an extra classroom, a family and resource management room, and will now offer the clothing, textiles, and fashion subject, which many students have been clamoring for. With a staff of 25, the new staff room can now house all teachers instead of 10, which the previous staff room could have accommodated. Those who utilize the school daily are now breathing a sigh of relief as they move into the new and refurbished facilities dubbed the Promised Land. I'm the head of department for the technical department at the Grenada SDA Comprehensive School. I teach technical drawing and building and furniture technology. With the new wing, we have a computer lab that would be able to house the computer, the computers, and be able to will be able to function effectively using the computers to do the AutoCAD program for the technical drawing in particular. In the BFD lab, which is the building and furniture technology lab, we do have now a lot of space we can work with. We have many workbenches. Again, we can have groups, and it would be clustered as how it's now. So we are very appreciative and looking forward to that as well. My name is Horace Passad and I have been a te past teacher of the school. I served here for 25 years. I'm happy because we had one lab and we could have only used 16 students. We only had 16 workstations. Now I check one lab has 18 and the other lab had at least 30 students could work in the other lab. 
So I'm happy, especially for the science department. From September, I really look forward to enjoying the labs because we really needed it this term and the previous terms. We have SBAs to be completed, so I'm really looking forward to getting that done. And just being in a new environment, yeah, I'm really pleased about that. I am Kim Lindicoto. I am the principal at the Grenada SDA Comprehensive School. We must thank uh, the government of Grenada and the Caribbean Development Bank because that partnership is what funded this, this project. I'm looking forward to September where we can be together in one place with one focus, more settled in more comfortable surroundings and we, we are very, very grateful to have this uh, received this gift. Coming in here, looking at the surroundings, knowing that this is where you are going to work, should be a motivator. In his remarks at the handing over ceremony, Parliamentary Representative for St. Patrick East, Honorable Dennis Cornwall, says he's elated at the achievement. But I haven't seen the progress made by the Grenada Montrose SD Comprehensive School. I would say that the SD school in Montrose is second to none. And therefore, I want the kids to take advantage of everything that's available here today. And we will ensure, as part of the government, that the pieces that are missing today, including the playing field and the resource center to make sure that you have a complete education right here in St. Patrick. So you can attract the students from Roselle, Montrose, Rosali, Hermitage, La Poetry, anywhere in the vicinity to come to the school and be able to get quality education. Amanette Moore.